The thing which really got me is the presence of these English-speaking entities in the trance. I mean, that I did not expect. I, from Jung and from Freud, you expect residual memories, and but not these entities, these beings. And then the question is, where are they? Who are they? They are either dead people because they are clearly more like people than like animals they after all speak and communicate and have intentionality in a purely intellectual realm so that means they're like people but they're not like anybody you've ever seen so are they dead people that's one possibility or are they extraterrestrials are they from the future are they future people so those are the fairly uncomfortable and limited choices. They're either in advanced state of humanity, they're the souls of the dead, or they're some kind of extraterrestrial dwellers in a parallel continuum. <coughs> now, the unconscious will not go away in the 20th century. Now the wheat fields of England lay down in hieroglyphic patterns to uh, try and shake awake uh, uh, the dreaming primates. It's as though the whole of nature, you know, is infused with a linguistic intent to communicate. One of the things that fascinates me about the psychedelics is how close the most interesting ones are to ordinary brain chemistry. The drugs that are most like what you have in your brain at this moment give the strangest, weirdest experiences. The ones that are just one tweaked atom away from ordinary consciousness are the ones that give the profound, world-dissolving experiences. This suggests to me that what we deal with when we deal with psychedelics is future chemical states of mind, future ratios of neurotransmitters in the human brain. Is it that the 5-HT2 and A receptors for serotonin are slowly over time, centuries, being swapped out for uh, a receptor that will accept a uh, a more energetic molecule like DMT. We know that DMT occurs in ordinary human metabolism, but we don't know why. Is it increasing over time? The place where evolution is going to be visible is in consciousness, because this is where the chemistry is most delicately poised to uh, augment or suppress function. The rate at which we can do this probably determines the rate at which we can save ourselves and the planet from the ruin.